Hello friends, welcome to another took a lot longer than expected project here on uh, Wreath Ridge. So we are going to be installing a snow plow and I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm sure it's going to be a big pain in the butt. Here we go. Hello again, YouTube friends. Back at Wreath Ridge with another project. And this time, my worn all-in-one snowplow system for my 2018 Honda Rancher 420 is finally here and I'm gonna install it. Here we go. This is packaged really, really, really well. Um, every piece seems to be wrapped in bubble wrap, plus this foam layer protection in between all the different layers in the packaging. Right, Ricky? And uh, so it looks like this is part of the mounting bracket, the tube. the handle to move the angle of the blade the other piece of the mounting bracket and the moment of truth the blade man guys this is heavy very heavy which is good heavy duty okay guys Here's the blade. Seems to be super heavy duty, which is awesome. If it goes like this, they must have put the sticker on it upside down. Oh well. Uh, it's like this. Yeah, they put the sticker on it upside down. I'm gonna return it. This is a bunch of crap. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Alright, you guys. Let's put this beast together now. Okay, so what I'm probably gonna do first is place the, the, the main mounting bracket onto the four-wheeler, which is underneath. It's a three-piecer. I'll show you guys here in a minute. And there's some, um, some particular measurements that you have to follow in order to, uh, for the blade to work properly. And I'm sure there's like some warranty guidelines on there if it's not mounted correctly you know, it could void your, your warranty. So there's certain measurement guidelines that you need to follow when you're, when you're mounting this thing. And because it's kind of all in one system, this mounting bracket could be used for many other makes and models of four wheelers. Um, it just, it takes a little bit of tinkering and making sure you, you mount it right. If, uh, if you guys purchased some of the other worn systems, you can get brackets specifically made for your four-wheeler or side-by-side -side or whatever but um, I went with this particular one and like I said it just takes a little bit of tinkering to make sure you get all the measurements right and then it should be pretty pretty simple from there so here we go alright you guys so this is what you're looking at for the mounting bracket that goes under the four-wheeler and uh, this guy right here they say this faces the front this part of it and it can't be greater than 19 inches away from the front of your uh, very front of of the front wheels so you might need an extra hand to do this i'm probably going to call my son over here to hold like like a straight like a level or something right in front of the of the front tires and then I'll measure back 19 inches to kind of see what what that's gonna 
look like, where it's gonna land. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, for to install all this stuff together and to attach it to the unit itself, you need six of these uh, nuts and bolts and four of the the u-bolts okay and i'll do my best to walk you guys through it there's going to be some some measuring there's going to be some measuring obviously like i mentioned there's going to be some dry fitting uh I'm probably going to have to bust some holes bust some holes through um through the skid plate underneath so so the u-bolts can fit in and so grip so just bear with me okay all i need you to do buddy yeah. is hold this like this so come over here where i'm at yep just like that okay Okay, so I made a mark at 19 inches, so I know that I can't be further back. The front of my bracket can't be past that line. It could be closer to the front, but not nowhere behind that sign. So now I have a point of reference. I'm kind of going to dry fit everything, see where the, my mounting bracket could be and where I need to establish where the U-joints or U bolts are going to go. You need to make sure that they wrap around the main frame of your uh, of your of your four wheeler. Here we go. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. That took me a good at least hour to figure out how the heck am I going to install the bracket under the the unit. I ended up really why why it took me so long is I try to do it without removing the bottom skid plate. And after about 30 minutes of me messing with that, I realized that I just need to remove it. Here's all the hardware to it. So remove the bottom skid plate. And then, then, it just gives you way better idea on where the U-bolts are gonna fit. As you can tell on this Honda Rancher, I put the front U-bolt on these two arms that go, that are part of the main frame. Here we go, that's better. So, U-bolt there and there. That's part of the main frame that comes from the bumper and then it starts like to flatten out under the under the four-wheeler okay I removed the plastic here so it can expose the frame in there so there's one u-bolt and if you come on the other side here's the other u-bolt okay the other thing you want to make sure see here's the mounting plate see that V that's the center of the mounting plate you want to make sure it's perfectly or as close as possible centered with your four-wheeler. You don't want it crooked or anything because, because uh, then your blade is going to be crooked and I'm sure it's going to cause all kinds of issues and probably bend the, the frame of the plow system. So very important that this is centered, perfectly centered with the four-wheeler and then you want to stay between those uh, measurements that I was telling you about. So let's go over those real quick. Okay, you guys, so my U-bolts, the front U-bolts right there, need to be 19 inches or less from the very front of the tires. I think mine are like around like a foot. And then from the front mounting bolts to the rear mounting bolts, are right here okay they need to be anywhere between uh, between 10 inches from from the front ones and 25 inches okay mine are I think are right at uh, 
roughly they're about 19 inches so you want to make sure you stay in between those guidelines okay I'm sure it has a lot to do with the, the, the strength of the system once it's it's properly put together so now I use that clamp to kind of as a third hand to kind of hold things in place as I was trying to feed those u-bolts and uh, now I'm just trying to do my best to transfer the marks of the u-bolts onto the skid plate so I can put some holes in my skid plate remount the skid plate on my four-wheeler and then attach the 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 mounting bracket so but before I do that you'll see that this t-bar slides along the 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 center part of the mounting bracket and it's made so you can move it forward and back so you can uh, meet those guideline uh, requirements with the u-bolts the the spacing so now that I established uh, the mounting position and everything's good I'm going to use the proper bolts to uh, secure that t-post on the center piece so that's what I'm going to be doing right now alright you guys I uh, reinstalled the the bottom skid plate and I double checked the U-bolts to make sure that they fit the that the, the, the holes I made for them in the skid plate were in the right place. On some of them I kind of had to adjust them. On two of them I had to re-drill the holes. They were about, about an inch off, which wasn't a big deal. And then on the other ones I just had to make the holes a little bit bigger. So that's good. I got that done. And now all I have to do is make sure that I torque these to the right poundage and then I'm going to install that underneath the four-wheeler all right so I got these super tight and uh, now we're gonna attach this to the quad here we go okay you want to make sure all you both bolts are tightened really good okay already did the back and now whew, that kind of kicked my butt I guess that's where uh, it pays off when you don't go with the universal one and you actually buy the exact same bracket for whatever four-wheeler you have I mean that took me hours to do Jesus I think I'm gonna start calling my projects projects that take longer than than they should or I should say projects that take a heck of a lot longer than they should I guess that's just part of the whole DIY thing but yeah so I got this bad boy installed it's nice and centered yeah now we need to put the blade together that should be fun actually I think that's gonna be hopefully I'm not jinxing myself but I think the blade part is gonna be the easiest part you don't have to crawl under the four-wheeler that you only have about 10 inches of clearance so here we go. All right, you guys. So for the tube, you need to obviously get the tube out, and then you need all these parts here. Got eight washers, four of these um, bolts, four nuts, all this stuff, right? So looking at the instructions, it goes like so. You put this guy right here. Then you put the thicker piece right here and you match the holes. Okay. Then you put the thinner piece like so. 
then you get this guy and you turn it around have this point point away from where the blade is going to be right so it'll be like this the bolt and the washers like so So there's that. Then the two odd loops. Oh, these you want to do them pretty loose. And then uh, these are the tensioners for the big springs for the for the blade. And uh, you kind of want. You don't want to cinch them too much. You want to put the, the springs on and then adjust them. Okay, now I'm installing the wear resistant uh, blade. Uh, it's just to protect your main blade and you could actually replace it. You could um, buy a replacement from, from uh, Warren. So these are actually, that's really easy to install. You have these, all these bolts, nuts and washers. these guys right here just put them in line up the holes put the washer and follow it with the nut like I said all the nuts are uh, oh, lock nuts put this whole install Kids. These are obviously adjustable. Now I'm going to flip this bad boy over. Like so. Just those. Okay, so now we're gonna install the tube. So I just put this guy in right here, and then on the other side I did the the same bolt just on, on the other side, and then the hex bolt goes over here. These are a little tough to put on there. Hmm. Let's see this other side. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. I don't think I have anything to work with that. 
Not that big anyways. Gosh, it shouldn't be. I think it's because of the powder coat. Ah. Of course, now I can't undo this one. gonna get a bit and kind of make that hole a little bit bigger. Just the powder coat. Just added just enough. Yeah. Just enough material on there where it made it pretty tough. Still need to get big enough Allen wrench in there so I could tighten this up. Wow. Okay, switch the clutch to neutral. Pull this back out. Turn the key. Alright you guys, that's all she got. Thanks for watching this, thanks for following along. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for uh, notifications whenever I post some more videos. And thanks again for watching another project of mine that uh, took a lot longer than expected.